Hi there. Today we're going to look at how to import a asset from the asset store into your project. And during that we're also going to look at why and how not to do it. Well, we, I already opened a empty project as you can see right here on the screen. We don't have anything in it, just a empty scene. And the first thing we want to do is go into our settings. And today I'm going to show you something special because we're going to play with our physics settings. You can see our physics manager is minus 9.81. That's the gravity set by default in Unity. So our simulation is going to be space. So let's just set that gravity to zero. Yes, sir. We are also going to project settings import input and well we're just going to leave them but please pay attention to how they are set up right okay oh then i just realized i could get this amazing asset in the asset store so let's just head over there and now we imagine we have built a lot of fun on our project and we got a lot of things going for us and it's going great but we want something special from a special asset we found and let's just uh, find one well complete physics platformer well that's a great asset so let's just import that yes sure and let's just grab it oh it's compiling it's gonna be great awesome let's close the asset store and oh now we realize our project is not working anymore why is that well First off, project settings input. You can see it changed it, changed all our inputs to something else. Okay, I don't know why. Next thing, our physics is suddenly minus twenty five. Okay, even more weird. Then again, some of our tags may have changed to some new tags. Also, we got no new layers. Okay, what happens? Well, the thing is, when you import something from the asset store, you shouldn't just import things like I just showed you. That's a big no-no. Let's just open a project. We're just going to open the same project again and not save. Continue. Default layout, there we go, asset, project setting, and we can see. It's still that. We can't do anything about it now. It's just... Damn. <laughs> so, let's create a new project. In the correct space. There we go. And call it new project. There we go. Create. Give Unity a minute to load. And here we go. Just save our first scene as scene. And everything is by default now. Thank God. Physics, you can see. But we're going to change it to zero because we're still working in space. And we're going to add just a cube. And we're going to tag it as game control or something. Just hit save. <clears throat> Sorry. And now we want to import that project again. Sorry, that asset from the asset store. And this is the way. I do it. I always have a empty project called import project as you can see right there. I'm going to open the import project. There's nothing in here and I don't care about the settings on this one. I'm just going to open the asset store. Give it a few seconds to load. Yeah, I have no idea why HTML is so slow to load. Anyway, hit the download. Find the same package again. It's right here. Import. And one thing you could do when importing these things, you could check out for these sprockets or cogwheels, whatever you want to call them, and just disable them. You can see there's some there. There's one there as well. Project settings. Because whenever you have these, something is going to change with your project settings. Good or bad, doesn't really matter. Things are gonna change. But right now we're just importing it into an empty project. So, import. 
let it uh, load everything and compile all the scripts. There we go. Close the asset store and you can see we got it right there. And if we pay attention or just check, you can see it's changed the gravity to minus 25. That's because that's how this asset work. However, we might not want to do that in our asset or project. So, but this is just the empty project, the import project. Let's right click right down here in the project manager, show in explore. And we are shown the folder. Just copy it, right click, select copy, folder up to your current project. And we called it new project into the asset folder and just paste it in there. There we go. Close the folder. And in this import project, I like to keep it clean for my next project or my next import from the store. So I'm just going to delete that folder. Yes, I'm sure. I'm going to open my original project we were working on. That's the new project. And no, don't save. And the asset should now be available to us in our current project. You can see the folder is right there. Let's open the scene. And everything is as it were. So let's see physics. Yeah, it's still zero. That is how you import an asset from the asset store that might change your physics or imports or layers, whatever. It can ruin your game. However, the next thing to consider is this asset may not actually work without those changes. But, well, that's just how it is being a developer. You have to make certain compromises. So, most decent projects have a guide or something, readme for PDF file or anything in the folder when you import them. And you can see when you double click that, there's a lot of things about this. But the first thing in this specific one is actually set up. And you can see change gravity to minus 25 and it explains why. It also needs a grab and a cam horizontal to input. And you can see the layers or the tags, sorry. And that's actually important. But now you need to know, oh sorry, you need I'm not sure. You now know why these things are changed. It's not changed it on its own. And that way you can work it into your project and make it work. So, I really hope this video helps some of the people on the forums having these problems because I see it over and over. People are just importing assets right into their projects regardless of what kind of settings they may include. You can, of course, import assets directly into your, to your project. And some of these assets are usually textures, substances, audio files, images. Let's see. Things like these. You can just import them and the way you can check that is when you hit the import and the import menu right here you can see well the files we're importing are just normal sp sar files however when you import things like well maybe the 2d toolkit hit import just check well are there any of those icons with the sprockets it's quite easy to check even with these there we go, there's one right there. Then we're going to check the path. Is it something that's going to affect us? No, certainly not. Those files that will affect your project are usually placed in the root location. So, like this, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and probably one below. 9, 10, 11, 12. There's actually 12 files that will change the settings on import. That's just uh, nice to know. You don't need to, but if you're serious about making a game, you should really be aware of these things and always keep control of what you are importing, why you're importing it. And 
the last thing you might <laughs> think the reason well you can see this company name and product name some of the assets you import actually have their own company name and own asset names stored right here and when you import it they will overwrite your company name and your asset or sorry product name that's not something you want anyway guys thanks for watching comment rate subscribe and i'll see you next time bye